Hello, my name is Jim Hartford and I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Sequoia Hospital specializing in total hip and total knee replacement surgery. Arthritis of the hip is a common ailment as we age. Symptoms include stiffness and pain in the groin or buttock, discomfort getting in and out of chairs, difficulty going up and down stairs, as well as difficulty putting on shoes and socks. The initial treatment includes anti-inflammatories as well as physical therapy. When the discomfort and limited activity become poorly treated by these means and the quality of life declines, hip replacement surgery is an effective treatment of osteoarthritis of the hip. Recent interest has grown among patients with regards to the anterior approach for total hip replacement. The anterior approach is a less invasive means of performing hip replacement surgery, which combines the benefits of minimally invasive techniques and early recovery with the benefits of using interoperative radiographs to produce exacting results. Since 2006, I've been performing total hip replacement through the anterior approach. Sequoia Hospital has an extensive experience with the anterior approach. The operation is performed using a specialized operating room table and interoperative x-rays. Through the anterior approach, the operation is performed between muscular planes without injury to the abductor muscles of the hip. The primary benefit of the anterior approach is reduced surgical trauma and reduced risk of dislocation. The additional use of fluoroscopy during the surgery allows for the verification of acetabular and femoral component positioning prior to the completion of the operation. Interoperative x-rays also allows me to minimize any leg length discrepancies to within a half a centimeter for close to 90% of the patients. This difference, for the most part, is imperceptible by the patient. On average, patients spend three nights in the hospital after surgery. The operation leads to a rapid recovery. For safety reasons, I request that patients stay on a walker for a minimum of one week and a cane for one to two weeks. The fixation of the hip replacement depends on the bone growing in and around the implant. This takes approximately 12 weeks. Too aggressive a rehabilitation may jeopardize the fixation and lead to failure. For this reason and for the concerns of safety from falls, I prescribe an organized rehabilitation program monitored by a physical therapist. Thank you for the few minutes of your time. For further consultation, I may be reached through Sequoia Hospital or the Palo Alto Medical Foundation.